The Chiron's 16-cylinder power plant generates 1,500 horsepower and pushes the machine to a planned top speed well over 400 kph. Yet going fast is just half the battle. If you want to stop the car out of 400, you need 4,000 horsepower. So that means this thermal energy you have to get out of the car somehow. To cool the car's brakes, the team literally attacks the problem head on. We have an integrated brake cooling air duct in the headlamp, which leads high pressure air directly onto the brake. Like the Veyron, the Chiron combines mechanical brakes at each wheel with an air brake at the back. If you start braking from 400 with this air brake and the mechanic brake, you can have a deceleration up to almost 2G. 2G, or twice the force of gravity, is impressive. Yet the power of the mechanical brake is even more surprising. The new brake is three times more powerful than the engine. All that power is tested inside of a brake dyno. Gibt es was Neues auf der Reifenseite von Michelin? Von Michelin haben wir äh, die Tests gefahren. Wir fahren mittlerweile die Reifentests auf dem Dynamometer. When you're blazing a new high performance trail, a big engine and powerful brakes aren't enough. You've also got to develop a new set of rubber. We said uh, it's going to happen, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Michelin starts designing a new tire at their state-of-the-art facility in Clermont-Ferrand, France. The massive proving ground houses a high-speed circuit, a one-of-a-kind wet track, and enough pavement to make a tire shriek in terror. For serious tires, where you have, let me say, the guarantee, you have lifetime, including traction and high-speed conditions on a uh, long distance. With just months to go before production starts, the guarantee is so critical that it needs to be written an ocean away. Inside Michelin's aircraft tire test center in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's a very secret facility. It's the only facility to have tests in this extreme range be yeah, far beyond 400 kph. We are talking about beating our own speed record, so we have more force on the tires at this very high speed. Above 430 kilometers per hour, a tire will experience over 3,000 times the force of gravity just inside its air valve. The Michelin used to design tires for racing uh, like uh, 24 hours of Le Mans. Long racing cars top out at around 340 kilometers per hour. The new Chiron will be over 25% faster. It's why we have to go here in this uh, facility because the machine that we use to validate the tires for Le Mans cannot run that fast. We have computer models and they show what we can do at this very high speed areas, but there's no experience because we are the first who, who are doing this. Calibrating the digital realm with the real one comes down to one of the most powerful tire dynos in the world. We are not far away from start of production. I could see that the tire is really capable to go for the speed. This is very confident for me. As the start of production looms, the brand's future success on the track might very well hinge on a combination of science and nature.